and back now with our storm force tornado coverage and we want to show you the dramatic changes as these storms approach the city itself. We have time lapse video we want to show you from our camera atop the Hancock building and this camera is going to show the dark clouds and heavy rain moving in from the southwest. You heard our experts earlier tonight telling us how rare it is for a tornado to come into the city and be this close to downtown. But that appears to be what happened tonight. You can see the sky blackened. There were extremely heavy downpours. And then finally, at the tail end of this, the skies cleared behind the storm and then the storm moved out over the lake. Meteorologist Tim McGill is going to join us now to explain how tornadoes form. Tim? Yeah, you have to have the right ingredients, the right timing for these things to form. And we certainly had one of the most essential ingredients today. We had wind shear. That's a change in wind speed and or direction through height. So you've got winds maybe in one direction near the surface, a different direction up aloft. And you get this big, long tube of air that could start rolling. And it's more in the horizontal extent. You need to tilt that upwards in the vertical to get it to turn into a tornado. And what usually does that in these super south thunderstorms. These are storms that have an updraft that rotates. An updraft is the warm moist air that fuels a thunderstorm. That can tilt the storm upwards and then the storm kind of constricts, gets tighter, and we get a tornado to form. That's probably what happened with these storms today. These were classic super south thunderstorms. It could have been a lot worse, as Nate said, thank goodness, because these storms weakened as they moved into the city limits. But as it was, we've gotten reports of at least eight tornadoes. We'll get the full assessment tomorrow from the National Weather Service. Back to you. Okay, Tim, thanks again. And again, so many areas today uh, experience just unusual weather conditions. Elizabeth Matthews on the scene for us tonight in Aurora. Elizabeth, what's the latest there? Yeah, hey, Corey, we're in the Misty Ridge subdivision. We've been to a couple locations kind of in the southern Aurora, northern Oswego uh, location, and it's very dark out, obviously, at night, so we can't see a lot of damage. But look what we found. More trees down in the area. I think Nate, maybe Casey was talking about this. A lot of trees down in the area. This is residential. It's a row of townhouses here in the subdivision. Here's the trunk. We couldn't really tell where these trees came from until, well, we looked up and we saw this, right? So it totally snapped off this tree. And this poor tree, there's several locations where it's snapped off. Thankfully, where these trees landed, landed on their driveways, like my photographer Scott mentioned, don't know how these people are getting to work tomorrow. This is probably three or four trees that stretches down this. We're at Stone Heather and Wisteria Drive, again in the Misty Ridge subdivision. So there's all this tree damage that goes all the way down this road, but it is just a portion, maybe a microburst. I'm no meteorologist, but this doesn't really look like tornado damage to me, more like a microburst. So there's probably three or four trees that sit in front of these townhomes. And the way they landed, thankfully, they didn't land on on top of any of these townhomes. Come over here, Scott. So across the street, this I don't think this is normal. Watch out, there's a tree limb right here. Come over here, Scott. Look at this. So this tree, not uprooted, but close enough, and now it's completely <laughs> bent over the sidewalk. So a lot of tree damage here in Oswego. This is kind of near Rush Copley, again, the Misty Ridge subdivision. It doesn't appear that there were any injuries. I don't think there's any cars under all that tree damage, but a lot of cleanup for these people in Aurora out here in the Misty Ridge subdivision. We'll send it back to you guys.